Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the AC650. This is gonna be an overview video of the amplifier and what it can do for you. Um, if you're a system builder, if you like building speakers, if you ever dreamt about building speakers, this amplifier is something you should be looking at. This is a very different type of an animal. This is a DSP amplifier. It's got a very powerful digital signal processor built in. It's got six power channels. Like for instance, these speakers that I built, uh, link down below to that video. Um, channel one, channel two, channel three, four, five, and six, there are no analog crossovers. Everything is crossed over right here in the app, which means I can choose any crossover, any slope, and I can update it within seconds. And another really cool feature is that this amplifier has Wi-Fi control, which means as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, this amp is always connected to you. So no matter how quickly you need to change something, you just get the app out, no matter what platform, Android, Apple, whatever, everything is updated live. Now, what are some of the things you can do? So you could do all the basic things. You can choose your source, for instance. You can choose whatever you wanna play, uh, whether it's USB, Bluetooth, optical, coaxial. It's got a very robust tone control that actually sounds good. But the biggest thing where speaker builders are gonna love the AC650 is this page, the tune page. The tune page is where you can address one or multiple channels at the same time or one at a time. And like, say for instance, this is channel one, two, three, four, five, six. Like if I wanna control, say all of my subs, I just go one, three, four, six, go to my crossover, say low pass filter. I like Lincoln O'Reilly, but you could choose Butterworth or Bessel and choose your frequency. Like I'm crossing these over at a thousand Hertz because at 12, uh, 1200 or so it starts dying down and this uh, tweeter slash mid, it picks up at that point. So I choose my crossover here. And for each one of these channels, I can have 15 band equalizer. I'll have a separate video on how to use this. This is just an overview, but I think you're starting to see where you can control delays, your gains, your inverts. Like right now I'm inverting all of the subs to meet my uh, tweeter slash mid. So that way when, when you do it in Linkwoods and Riley, it actually meets up super perfectly. It sounds incredible. That's what these uh, speakers are. They're uh, controlled everything by a single amp, uh, by a single unit that I can address from anywhere with an app that's in my pocket. It's already ready to go and I can AB things. I can put a whole bunch of presets anything I want into my AB and then live I can change from one to the other and I'll do a whole video on how to use presets. It's super simple. You just hold it down like this. It says save as a preset. You go save. Boom. Now it's saved in the preset. You want to play it. You, you say load, load preset A, load preset B. And say for instance, you could see, you know, I changed uh, presets like load preset A, boom, load preset B, boom. And it does the same thing for everything that's in your tune in your tune box so everything in the tune page anything at all you change anything you can put it into preset a and a b those things so you can actually hear the differences by the time you unplug things replug things like usual you already forget what it sounds like here it's almost instantaneous you can hear whether your crossover is good or not right away the next thing let me show you um come here let me let me show them this so first of all hooking this up in the back um, this cable, it's a single cable, but it's a multi-channel cable. Here you've got three channels. This is a multi-strand cable. And on this side over here, these are uh, Phoenix connectors that are super easy to work with. And then you can just plug them in just like this. You just hooked up three channels and that's another six channels, just like this. And that same thing, it goes to here. You've got your channel one, channel two, channel three. And that correlates to, you know, the drivers that are over here, you know, it's really four, five, and six, you know, four, five, and six. But yeah, that's basically, that's what it is. And actually, let me show you what else I do, because I have these all over my house. So let me show you where else I use these amplifiers. And you can use them for so many different things. You can daisy chain these. That's another thing. If you need more channels and you want to address more channels, like if you got a much bigger system, you want to have five drivers on this side, five drivers on that side, you can daisy chain them with an optical cable. Let me show you this. First of all, the amplifier, this is the middle section right here. That's the actual AC650. 
on the inputs, you can plug in anything that's optical or coaxial, um, and you want the highest signal possible going in here because inside the actual amplifier, everything is processed using I squared S. So we have the highest bandwidth of signal transport uh, in I squared S, which is the best way to do it. I, I don't think there's any other way to carry digital signal outside of I squared S. It is the best way to do it. So you wanna have the highest quality signal coming in, whether it's USB audio, whether it's coaxial or optical SPDIF, you want the highest quality input. Um, I, I prefer using um, Mac OS or iPad has really good inputs. I also use Raspberry Pi USB outputs and run Mood, uh, Mood as the open source audio player and I'll have videos on that coming up. But once the signal is in, you can control everything with the app that I've been showing you. Uh, by the time you're watching this, there's probably quite a few new features um, that you can turn on and off. Uh, over here, you can control each and every one of the channels, everything from crossover, delay, gain. You can choose whether it's left, middle, or right. You can invert the channels. You can work on multiple channels at a time. But then when channels are ready to go to the amplification section, they are also transferred through I squared S. Okay. So let me show you. So these amplifiers, these AC650s, they're powering these speakers. These are pretty old speakers. I've had them, I built them in college. We've had some amazing times with these speakers back in the day. And this amp has brought life back into these speakers. Each one of these drivers is connected to a separate channel uh, that I can control. Because these are four-way speakers and this amplifier is really like a three-way amplifier. So it's got six channels and I need eight channels. I'm using another, I daisy chain another amp, um, but I'm still controlling everything from one amplifier and I can, you know, turn things up and down from my main gym right here. And let me just show you how I have it quickly crossed over. Let me turn it down real quick. Um, so I have my channel one and four, which are my tweeters, okay? Channel one and four are my tweeters on this speaker and the other one. And then I have it uh, crossed over at high pass filter at 1700. Uh, Hertz then I have my channel 2 and channel 5. I have 500 Hertz to 1700 Hertz That's these guys and I'll do a separate video on how I Tune these and I basically tune these by ear and then I do measurements 200 to 500 Hertz is these guys and then these guys uh, the the very low ones are gonna be my through my optical they're gonna be 100 to 200 Hertz and then my subwoofer takes over from there, RCA 10, and it's got a low pass at 100. And with that said, you know, I could basically, you know, it's, it's awesome. But then you're wondering, you're like, well, okay, so you're using your second amplifier just to, you know, stupidly, just basically amplify just these speakers. I am. Um, and I'm using the original amp, the, the main one, to control that. So in reality, I didn't need another one of these amps. But the fact that I can control it, turn it on and off, and I have four more channels going outside. So I'm basically using every one of these channels to the best of its abilities. And I control those other four channels outdoors. With that said, I have a cohesive uh, system that I can easily control. I can, you know, do tone control and everything like that. You know, if I want to do mids, bring up the mids. Bring down the mids. Get the highs going. You know. Everything is right there. Anyways, that's that's my system downstairs. In my living room, I have the AC650 Deluxe Mini Edition hooked up to four MagnaPan speakers. And this is by far the most used system in my house. I use four MagnaPans with this AC650. By doing that, I can control everything in the system. And I can't wait to show you. I have a separate video in the link below. So check that out and have an awesome day. Okay, 
Hi guys. Uh, am I in the shot at least? <laughs> okay. Uh. Hi guys. <laughs> In this video, I want to tell you all about the AC650 